Hello and welcome to episode nine of The Humble Onion. We haven't missed a beat. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie to you. We are doing a whole mud crab. Bum, bum, bum. It's gonna be amazing. We're having some Campari, we're having some crabs. I'm gonna show you how to break down a whole crab. We're gonna deep fry it and serve it with some salted egg yolk. We're gonna make a little noodle dish. It's gonna be pretty good. It's, uh, it's early in the morning, but don't let that put you off drinking. Okay, V's out of here. Disclaimer guys, okay? Not everybody is gonna wanna see this and I'm totally okay with that. What I wanna show you here is how we're gonna process a wonderfully Australian product. How quick, how easy, how simple it is to work with a product like this at home. I'll tell you right now, this is a $90 crab. What? Yes, $90. But everything else we're using today comes to about 10 bucks. So for two people to enjoy a 1.5 kilo mud crab at home, $50 a head. It's actually very affordable. It's really straightforward and I wanna show you how to do it, okay? If you don't want to see this, again, it's okay. Fast forward to ping, we'll pop that up. The time and it'll just be processed and done and sitting in a bowl and we're gonna start frying it, okay? That's it, preach over. If you do wanna see it, let's go. So we're gonna take these off. Really hope he's asleep and not just pretending. I've had this crab in the freezer, okay? Um, he's completely asleep and these are incredible claws. So I'm gonna take this off. Straight through the back, he's finished now. And all we do is pull the side off here. That's one side. Turn him around, pull the side off here. Everything in here that isn't yellow, we don't want. The yellow stuff is delicious, just like with um, crayfish, just like with prawns, the mustard is really tasty. Everything else we're just gonna wash out, okay? I'm having a little Campari. These claws are absolutely incredible. It's a very big crab. Just gonna trim off the sides here. That's just nice for presentation, so we'll keep that. Now, here we have, these are the dead man's fingers, they call this. These are the gills, okay? Um, I don't think they're gonna make you ill, um, but they're just not very tasty, so just get rid of them. We don't need those. Inside here, there are two sections of meat that are separated by a piece of cartilage, okay? We're just gonna clean off anything that doesn't look edible and tasty. And then I'm gonna leave these intact. You can cut this in half, you can take this out if you want. I'm not really in the mood for all that this morning, so I'm just gonna make it simple. That is a beautifully edible piece of crab. I'll take off your sharps as well. Lovely. Really lovely. This is insanely strong. This crab is so, so very strong. Now, we're gonna separate this at the knuckle here, okay? So this is really similar to doing any like, you're doing chicken, you're doing poultry. It's good having the cleaver. Now. This is the best bit. <laughs> the, claw, the claw meat is so wonderful. And if you just look like the size of that, even compared to my hand, that is a big claw. That's really, really great. So we wanna get inside this so that when, we, when we've cooked it, it's really easy to eat. So we're just gonna give it a little crack. That's it. Cool. We don't wanna just, I'm not using the blade. I'm not trying to cut this in half. I just wanna crack it so that when we cook it, uh, it's gonna be easy to eat, okay? So that guy's going on there as well. We'll trim this off. And we're gonna do the same with this one, okay? We're just gonna crack it. There we go. You're better off going a few times and not obliterating it and just, just do it gentle. So that's broken in there as well. So that when this is ready, there's meat in there, there's meat in here. That's gonna be easy to get out as well. So it was about this time that I switched off the recording. So we're going to try a little overdub here. Um, this is me just talking some trash about oil. It wants to be about 180 degrees and uh, you check that with your hand. Uh, this claw weighs 261 grams. 
flex. Uh, we chucked it in a bowl. Um, next thing, we're going to coat it in some egg white. So I've just frothed the egg white slightly to make it more liquidy. That's a term. Very good. And then uh, we're just going with corn flour. So corn starch, corn flour, tosty toss, tosty toss. Uh, I do that a few times. Um, that's that's about it there. Yep, more of that. Give it a good coating. Uh, get a bit more on. Always a little bit of a moron in these videos. So we're going to chuck this in the oil. Um, we really want this about 180 degrees. Uh, we're going to go on. There's going to be a lot of action. That's good to know. That's the, the water trying to escape from the product. Um, but really what's vital with the, with the deep frying is that that's sealing the outside. Um, and that's what we're really about. So we, we want it to seal, lock in all the flavor. And realistically, the crab is actually steaming away inside the shell rather than, um, than actually frying the way it would in a pan. Uh, we went in with the big pieces first because they're going to take longer to cook. We've got some lovely legs. I've got some lovely legs. Um, they're looking fantastic. It's really only a few minutes uh, for the first, even for the big, the big bunters, the big claws. They're still only uh, going to be about five minutes uh, tops. And then the legs, I think we're, we're only looking about two, two to three. Um, it will lower the temperature of your oil because we're not using a commercial deep fryer. We're using just a big open wok of oil on a stove. So get them out of there when they color change and they're looking nice. You can use some kitchen towel or something underneath yours so that it doesn't look like you've got oil pooling on your plate, but you're probably better at presentation than I am. Lovely, lovely. Um, something that I really love about Chinese cookery and, and lots of styles of Asian cookery um, is that things get deep fried before they're stir fried. And that's a really, really beautiful way um, of getting the sauce to bind to the product. Uh, it creates a really lovely sort of skin on the outside of things that, that soaks that sauce in really well. Um, but I also just love that, that anytime you read, say, crispy uh, on a menu or fried, you're always going to expect something crunchy. Uh, when it comes to whitey food, and that's that's just not the case through lots of styles of Asian cookery, and I think it's a really uh, brilliant technique. So give give that a go, and that's that's frying a crab. It's really as simple as you as you might think it is. Frying a crab. We're gonna make some really simple noodles to accompany our beautiful crab. Okay, so the crab is gonna get tossed in this salted duck egg yolk with some butter some bean shoots and some spring onions. For our noodles, we're going to use some incredible bullhead chicken broth, love it. Some mixed mushrooms, a little bit of spring onions, uh, some ginger. I'm gonna thicken with cornstarch and we're actually gonna do a little egg white drop in there as well, which I really enjoy. And I also like having the egg white on the noodle and the egg yolk on the crab, because I like stuff like that. This is really important for me to show that like making a noodle dish it's, it's really easy. It's super fast. It's really straightforward. You can do this with um, aglio e olio if you wanted to. Just make a really simple spaghetti. You can serve this with whatever you want. This is already so perfect. You know, steamed rice and fried crab, it's not going to be a bad time. You know what I mean? So don't, don't stress it. We're going to make it all in a pot. Well, we're going to go in with some ginger. We're going to fry some mushrooms. I'll use this. Give these a really light fry. Great. They're just lightly softened. I'm going to deglaze with some Shao Sing rice wine. Use white wine. Buy some Shao Sing. It's really delicious. Just going to cook it off slightly. We don't really want to reduce it all the way. The flavor is important. In with the bullhead. You can make chicken stock. You can make chicken broth. Do whatever you want. I love this stuff. It's like two dollars a tin from BHT. Like why wouldn't you? I'm going to get this up to the boil. Coming up. They think that I'm just like super fast. I'm also going to season uh, with some mushroom sauce. I really love this stuff. It's basically sugar and mushroom flavor and probably MSG. If not, just put a little bit of sugar in, but I like sugar with flavor. So I'm going to use this. This one is simmering away and with a little bit of cornstarch. It's going to make our sauce lovely and thick and coating and beautiful. So that was probably tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. 
Um, the amount of liquid that you use to hydrate it isn't really that important. You just want a, a little water on there or we use the stock. Um, and then just add it as you need. This is boiling away. The cornstarch is hydrated and thickened. The text is beautiful. So now we're just gonna add a little bit of egg white and we have our wonderful noodle sauce. Whilst our sauce is just hanging out over here while we finish our crab, I'll get this back on and warm it up. I've already pre-boiled some noodles, little disclaimer there. If you have a big stove, you have your noodles boiling while you're making the sauce and frying this. I've got one good burner and that's it. So I'm just breaking into steps, okay? But you can do it in your own pace. In with some oil, really good way to check the temperature you wok as well, because if the oil goes in and starts smoking instantly, it's like, fuck, that is really gonna burn up butter, you know? So I'm gonna go in with a generous amount of butter. Oh yeah, baby. I've just decided to add some white pepper as well. That's me. Freestyling it. Fuck it. <laughs> our butter is foaming and lovely. We're gonna go in with our salted egg yolk. I'm using the duck egg yolk. Uh, that's just my call. You can buy, there's a powder you can use as well. You can use powdered egg yolk, it's up to you. She's foamy and lovely and delicious. Absolutely beautiful. I've got this large sliced ginger and I'm also gonna go in with my scallions. My next project's actually a hip hop album. It's gonna be called The Rap Scallion. Ha! In with the crab! Oh, the smell. Tossing it all together. I'm gonna add some more fresh butter. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Sauce is gonna get back onto warm. I'm gonna go in with some bean shoots. And this stage here, other than about making a giant mess, it's really just about activating our aromats and getting all that flavor through it. Cooking out the egg yolk, kind of not really, it's already good to go. We just wanna make sure that everything comes together, that's all. And most importantly, we're gonna add salt. Very good. Uh, noodles, may I please have my beautiful presentation dish there, Tom? Cinema. Oh my God. And then over we come with our crab. Big leg, big claw there. Oh man, let's just get it in. Now, I'm afraid if that doesn't float your goat, I just don't know what else I can do for you. I'm gonna have the best breakfast of my life. And as we always end, the hardest part of the show is when I have to, uh, is when I have to eat everything. Holy crap. Holy crab. That's, um, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Should we just film like a whole mukbang after this and then it's just me eating an entire fucking crab? Let's just get in here. See what's good. Oh, guys, I don't really know what else I can say. Um, oh, so worth it. Just fucking amazing. Incredible Australian product. Absolutely brilliant technique for cooking crab. You can do this, get some swimmer crabs. You could do this with prawns if you, if you were at a push, you know what I mean? Uh, do it with yabbies, or if you're in a part of the world that has crawfish, that's the same thing. Do it with an eggplant, but like, come on, you know? Do it with crab. Oh, Guys, episode nine, you've stuck with us so far. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe, share, tell your friends. Go back, rewatch. Thank you.